Using Restix Arc Clone backend, you can back up to services not natively supported by Restic. For example, it is not possible to directly back up to Google Drive with Restic, but you can use the backend to back up to a Google Drive remote configured with Arc Clone. Restix Arc Clone backend is super simple to utilize, but it does require you to have Arc Clone installed and the backup remote or service already set up. I've got guides on setting up and using Arc Clone, so check those out if you're interested. However, in this video, I'll focus specifically on using the Arc Clone backend as it pertains to Restic. If I do Arc Clone remotes, I see a list of my remotes. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Google Drive, so G Drive with the Arc Clone backend. If I do LSD on Google Drive, or G Drive, I'm going to go ahead and make a folder here called Backups, and I'm going to use that to store all of my RESTIC repositories. Or clone, make directory, and I'll call it Backups. And I have the Backups folder. I want to back up my Videos folder, which contains these files. So we'll do RESTIC minus R and point to our remote. First by specifying the R clone keyword, then the name of the remote. My remote is called G Drive, so I'll put G Drive and then the folder or the path. And for this backup, I'll just call it videos init. This will go ahead and create the repository on my Google Drive inside the folder backups. If I look at my Google Drive account, and we see it's already been updated with the backups folder, if I go into the videos backup, we have the RESTIC files. Let's go ahead and run the backup. I'll back up my videos. And it's complete. Let's go ahead and run snapshots. And we see we have our one snapshot on our Google Drive account. Let's go ahead and restore the snapshot. I've gone ahead and deleted the old restored folder that I had from the last video. We'll just do our clone, point to our remote, the folder, and the repository, and restore the snapshot ID or latest. I'll save it to the desktop in the restored folder. And we have our videos back that we downloaded directly from Google Drive using Restix R clone backend. As far as I'm aware, repositories accessed in this way are handled just like any natively accessed Restix repositories. This means you can use all Restix commands normally. Just remember to use the R clone keyword followed by the remote in order to actually access the repository. There doesn't seem to be any overhead and performance and speed is identical as far as transfers is concerned. The Arc Clone backend opens up a whole world of backup solutions for you using Restic. 